What up? It's your boy NWP, but you can call me Pwn, and today we're going to be taking a look at Ranked Reloaded and all the changes you can expect for the launch of the next Ranked season. And let me just give you a little bit of a spoiler alert here. These changes are fairly severe, and they may disrupt the casual Ranked player from grinding and getting those levels that they've been able to get for quite a long time. At this point, Apex Legends has become more of a staple and ranked should carry somewhat of a hardcore nuance to it. So it is kind of a good thing that they are changing rank to be more for the hardcore players and as well for teammates as teamwork will be something that is really pushed forward in this update. But first, guys, if you enjoy the channel and you want to help out in a massive way, then how about taking the time right now? To like this video and if you're new smash down that subscribe button with the notification bell so that you can get alerted anytime that i drop a new video now we got even more information directly from autism gaming links in the description down below make sure you check him out he is providing even more information about the upcoming season considering how many leaks have come out in the past few weeks it's kind of absurd that he was still able to get this much stuff out to the public and today we're gonna start off with the changes to overall RP entry cost now as you know we did find the unranked icon in the game files more recently and that does in fact seem to be playing a role in the upcoming changes to ranked as you'll notice right here there is some severe changes to the entry cost and there's actually a free tier but then it looks like there is a bronze tier and with every level of a tier it increases in rp so at bronze four it's going to cost you 15 rp to get in there but at bronze three it's going to cost you 18 rp and this scales all the way up to predator where every thousand rp predators will increase their rp the cost for entry by five so the entry cost is going to get fairly severe and they may have found a way to actually make the ranks matter and kind of have their own dignity to them without the initial three or four ranks meaning absolutely nothing so that's really cool to see and that right there is going to probably put a bit of a wrench in people's machines when they look at how this is going to work out for them if they were a casual player but and that's something that we're going to have to deal with moving forward is mo more of a hardcore design for ranked considering what apex has become but we also do have a little bit more information regarding this upcoming season and what you can actually expect for the changes to ranked. As I said, teamwork is being pushed forward heavily in this, as well as generally not being just a clown and doing whatever you wanted to in a sense. But uh, yeah, there is an actual video that Autism put out, but what I think would make more sense because there's no need for a video is to just put a screenshot of the most pertinent information right on the screen. And if you read through all of this, there is a good chunk of information right there. And the gist of it is there is now ranked emotion. You will also have at times for whatever reason, most likely because people potentially have left games, stuff like that. You'll have protection against tier demotion. And when that runs out, obviously you'll be available to have your tier demoted. Now, most of the things in terms of how ranked works, like for matchmaking have not changed. So once you get to platinum, you will still only have the one tier difference that you'll be able to play with in terms of your options. Um, RP to enter is changing, but it still cost RP to enter the matches. There's going to be rank splits with rank resets every season as usual. So all that stuff has really not changed in any way, or at least in any significant way. But there is some major changes overall. And that is the tier demotion occurs when you fall below the RP value for that tier and your rank will be reduced to the midpoint of the next lowest tier. So if you went from plat four down to gold, it would be to gold two is by the wording that we'd be seeing right there. Now, you receive full points when you assist a teammate with a kill. So if you assist on a kill, you will get full key KP for that kill. 
you will get 50% KP if you did not assist. So you actually want your teammates to stay alive and get kills. You do not want to try and hog all the kills. You want to work as a cohesive unit and you want your team to stay up and effective in the match. So very much pointing to that teamwork is the dream work kind of situation. And as I said, they're really pushing that predator level entry cost up and up and up. So every five points will be increased for every thousand RP you've gained. So that means right off the rip, if you're at 11,000 RP, it's going to be an 80 point entry into the new form of rank for red level players, which is really, really dope and does mean that they're going to be forcing them to hold their pred spots and really play for their pred spots and uh, no more W keying into people and just getting face rolled in a sense. A lot of good changes here. I think they could have done a little bit of a different kind of way for the teamwork idea. I think they could have focused more on like, if your whole team is alive, then you get more points at the end for, you know, um, or, it, you know, kind of how many rings each person has been in kind of thing. There's just more ways to really benefit the team for being the entire team working together and keeping each other alive. But this is not a bad start, and it is definitely something that, considering the complaints that the pro players and the content creators have had over the last few seasons with Ranked, this is a good start, and if not, it will definitely lead to what is going to make Ranked great again. Yep, I said it. We're going to make Ranked great again. I'm going to get the red hats made, and we're making Ranked great again. It's happening. You understand? We're going to do it. We're making Ranked great. But yeah, guys, I'd love to hear what you have to say about it. Drop a comment down below. Let me know what your opinion on Ranked Reloaded is. Obviously, this is going to affect the entire community more than it's going to affect any single given person. So getting the idea of how the entire community feels about it is way better than just coming up with one person's opinion. So let me know how you guys feel about this. Obviously, we didn't get point decay in this particular change, but we did get ranked emotion, and that can be pretty severe in terms of what it does to the game for any individual player, especially the casual player base. And the casual player base has made up a good portion of Apex at this point from both public, ranked, and competitive. And at this point, I think it's time, especially with million dollar lands happening, that we get a little bit of a more hardcore ranked scenario myself. But I can totally respect the casual player wanting to actually compete and have fun as well. But if you'd like to continue this conversation, maybe you want to start another one. Maybe you want to show me some of the crazy stuff you're doing in Season 13 of Apex Legends. Or you just want to get in on some of the giveaways that I'll be doing for Battle Passes before the launch of season 13 then head on over to the social media links give them a like a favor to follow whatever you haven't done already it will be greatly appreciated and goes a long way to helping the channel maintain and succeed throughout season 13 but clearly guys we're looking at some major rank changes that uh, we have never seen anything this severe happen in apex ever like we've never seen rank changes like this we've seen rank changes to maybe push it to be a little bit more of a fight 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 to get as many kills as you can kind of situation and we've seen it pushed more to the okay camp it out get placement or in try to win kind of situation but now what we're seeing is totally play together win the match get your kills it's they're trying to really entice you to do all of the necessary actions in the game which i think is what they should be doing i still think that placement should increase the amount of kills per match that you can get kp from that's a major one for me that i think really would push the end ring circles a little bit faster so like instead of people just waiting until they're closing people will actually try and get those extra kills they'll intervene in fights in a meaningful way rather than just trying to grief you know those kind of things so i think there is still a little bit of work and you know room for improvement with the system we're getting to in the upcoming season but at the same time this is a beautiful set of changes that i cannot wait to see how they actually affect the game in general Hopefully it will make Apex an even better and more stable ranked experience, but 
Only time will tell and the new season is rapidly approaching with about six days remaining before the epic launch of Saviors and the release of our next legend, Newcastle, who may be the superhero that we didn't want, but we need. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Here's another video you can check out if you feel so inclined. Thanks for watching, though. Thanks for liking. Thanks for subscribing. And don't forget, you won't be able to play Ranked Reloaded or completely abandon it if you don't stay safe, stay healthy, and as always, have a good one.